Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, talking about you know release of, of versions of Windows, and of course I can't I can't stop thinking about one thing when I see what's happening with Windows 11 23H2 right now um, that is supposed to be released, of course, in uh, you know, towards the end of the year, um, October, November, we don't know, but. But we see that there's some kind of little problem happening in that 23H2, which we all thought would be actually what's coming up with the updates in the next few weeks. It's kind of pushed back a little. And remember Windows 10, three updates a year, went to two updates a year to one update a year uh, in the time when there were updates for Windows 10. And you, we could see how painful it was for Microsoft to keep its objectives of pushing a version of Windows to us. It was complicated. It seems like a painful process. And you know what? It seems like it's still painful to do so. So here on the uh, Canary built, I do have 23H2 written here. But, you know, on the standard Windows 11, uh, what we're going to get is moment four. We'll get new features. But it's interesting to see that we're not going to get 23H2 yet which is interesting and shows how painful, like I said, the uh, process of Microsoft to push updates is. And I was thinking about one thing that I, I wish Microsoft would stop doing. It's to always say, we promise this new feature update for this period of time. How about let's go with the flow when you feel you're ready, it's out. Stop giving dates. Stop saying we're going to do four updates or three moments or two moments. Just say, hey, here is what we expect in the different moments, and they'll arrive when they're ready. I don't think that would be much of a problem for anyone. Anyways, uh, considering that the majority of people don't really care about these updates that bring new features anyways, and... Maybe that would be better, no pressure. Instead of risking to send us things that are broken, you would actually instead send us things when they're ready and that they work well. So, you know, I wish Microsoft after 23H2 would just say, so, you know, there's going to be a 24H2 maybe or something and, and just... Just go with the flow. It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter if it's February or May. Just do it when you're ready. And unfortunately, that's the biggest problem right now with Microsoft trying to always have you know dates to do things, and it has to be ready here. And with the result that sometimes it arrives broken. Um, from what I've been reading a lot, a lot of the 23H2 um, release not happening right now has to do with file explorer that has too many problems now they've done new features they've changed things around but um it actually is one of the main reasons they're going a little crazy is file explorer is kind of broken they're not sure what to do well they know what to do but they they don't know how long it's going to take to fix it correctly and let's face it file explorer is a pretty important thing in Windows. So anyways, we'll see what happens next. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.